All right, so you're a new shooter, and this is your first time going to Camp Perry. This video is for you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Check it out. Like I said in the intro, this video is for you new shooters who are going to Camp Perry for your first time. So what I'm going to do with this video, I'm going to be short and sweet, straight to the point, not going to keep you all day long like I normally do. But today I'm going to be short and sweet, and I'm going to give you a list of things that you need to bring with you to Camp Perry. All right, guys, for starters, you're going to need your gun box, a good a good pistol box. In this case, I have the old school strong case box. They don't really make these anymore. I'm not really sure why. But if you are in the market for making this kind of stuff, I can promise you there's a market to sell this kind of stuff. Let's get into it. Obviously, number one, you're going to need your pistol to shoot. You got to have your pistol, right? Along with your pistol, you're going to need ammo. Make sure you pack enough ammo. Obviously, this is not enough for a Camp Perry trip. This is more like a practice session. But you're going to need your gun. You're going to need ammo. Bring plenty of ammo. One, because you never know what alibi is. Two, you know, you may end up shooting team matches. Three, it's good to have spare ammo for, you know, other shooters who may need it or whatever. All right, so let's move on. Gun and ammo. Spot and scope. As you know, at Camp Perry... We shoot at 25 and 50 yards, all right? You're gonna need a spotting scope to see where you're shooting on your target. So I definitely recommend bringing your spotting scope. Let's go down. You're gonna need to bring a stapler. Well, so, so back in the days, we used to have to carry all of our targets from 50 yards and 25 yards at Camp Perry, like this big, truck and you know a couple of trailers behind it will be driving around and these uh we call it the uh, target trailers and it was just these little trailers that were just slam full of targets like full face targets already on cardboard and we had to go grab all the targets that we needed for the day so back in the day when we were shooting you know your 900 targets your uh your 900 course of fire we have to grab nine targets and we have to carry them things from 50 yards, 25 yards. It was, it was hell. I don't know if they're still doing that. I don't think they are, but in case they are, you don't need a stapler. But bring your stapler anyway, because if they went away from that, you're going to need to staple your repair centers or your full facers, whatever they're doing at Perry now, on your target. So make sure you have stake your stapler. With that, obviously, bring your staples. You don't want to run out of staples. All right, you wanna bring any tools that you're gonna to need to have your course of fire. You bring your screwdriver so you can adjust your sights if you need to. You have your bushing tool for your 1911s. You know, bring any tools that you're going to need. Um, obviously your ECIs, earplugs. You're gonna need your earplugs, ear pro. Uh, one big thing that I definitely recommend is tape. You always bring your tape. You always want to bring your tape for, you never know when your neighbor is going to need some tape. You know, your neighbor, he may shoot some shots into white and you might need to help him out and give him a, you know, a sticky tape, you know, something to cover that hole up. Not because you shoot into white. We don't shoot into white. Nah, we don't do that. You bring the tape for your neighbor, you know, and that's the intention. Bring it for the neighbor, not you. But if you do happen to need it, you ha do happen to have it. So bring your tape. All right, moving on, guys. You're gonna need your iPro. You need eye protection. That is mandatory on the range while you're shooting. All right. You're gonna need a clipboard. Bring a clipboard so you can, you know, keep a score pad or you, when you're writing on your scorecards, you know, you need something to write on. On the back of mine, I keep my overlay hanging out in here. That's where I keep my overlay at. If you have an overlay, bring it. If not, you know, that's fine. Somebody will loan you one. All right. One important thing here, I'm going to set the camera up for this one here. Put you on the tripod here. Try to angle it. There we go. All right, so check it out. What I have here is just one long strap. 
All right, so the winds at Camp Perry get pretty nasty. You get pretty windy out there. And so you're gonna to wanna to bring some type of strap with you. One, to hold your gun box down. Because it gets really windy out there. So a little strap like this, and speed that thing here. We're just pretending my truck's the bench here. You're going to want to bring some type of strap to hold this thing down. Once you get this thing strapped down, that way the wind does not blow your box down. I don't know if you can even see that or not. So bring it around here. So that's all I'm doing. You just put the little strap on this thing and it's going to hold it down to the bench and now your thing is not going to go flying away. So make sure you're bringing some sort of strap. All right guys, moving on from the strap. All right, next thing, you wanna bring some water. You bring something that you can carry water in, a water bottle of some sort, because out at Camp Perry, you're out in the field. You're out in an open field, out in the blistering sun all day long. So you're gonna to wanna to bring some type of water hydration system or something like that to keep you hydrated. Because the sun being down on you, you're out in the open, the sun, it's gonna get hot and we don't need any heat cases out there. So you have to hydrate, you have to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So please bring a water bottle of some sort so we can avoid being a heat case, you know, shutting down a range because we don't, this is not the place or time to have a heat case and shut down ranges. We're already there for a long time. Let's keep the ball moving, you know, so bring your water and hydrate. All right, if you are sensitive to the sun, I recommend you know, bring in some kind of you know bandana or something like that. Something that's going to help you kind of cover up, all right? So I here, I'll show you in a second what I do with my bandana here. All right, so what I like to do is I like to drape the bandana up under my hat on top of my head and drape it down my neck because I cannot stand getting sunburn on the back of my neck. And this is the best way that I can do go about, you know, keeping my neck covered and keeping it from getting sunburned. And, you know, you can sunscreen and all that good stuff. I, I, I just rather have this on my neck here and keeping the sun off of it. So, you know, bring something to cover up from the sun, bring sunscreen. If you don't want to do this, make sure you have sunscreen because it's, it's going to be sunny. All right, continue on with the weather. You want to bring some kind of rain gear, okay? So this is my Gore-Tex from back to my days in the Marine Corps. You know, it's a rain jacket and I got the trousers in there. Also bring some Bring some rain boots. You know, these boots here just, you know, cover over, just go right on top of my shoes or my boots or whatever I'm wearing, and they will keep my feet dry. But at some point or another, you want to pack for the rain because it's probably going to rain at some point or another at Camp Perry. So make sure you have some rain gear. All right, let's talk about the brass catcher. So if you're coming to Camp Perry, you may or may not want to bring a brass catcher. If you are just hard up for brass and you don't want to lose any of your brass whatsoever, then by all means, bring your brass catcher. Uh, I don't personally don't feel the need to bring one because that's just something extra that you're going to have to carry to the firing line. All right, this is, you know, we're talking, you're carrying all this stuff through an open field and it's, you know, not, you know, 10 feet away. So you don't want to bring anything extra that you really don't absolutely need. But like I said, if you're hard up for your brass, bring your brass catcher because if you don't bring your brass catcher and you want to keep your brass good luck the grass monster is going to eat all your brass and you're going to be lucky to find maybe one or two pieces of your brass for whatever reason i have never found all my brass there so i gave up i quit trying to find my brass i would no longer even bring the brass catcher i just let the i let perry have my my, my brass they can have it I'll be back next year. If I find it next year, I'll pick it up, but uh, no reason to, because it's going to be impossible to find all of your brass at Perry just because of the grass. The grass monsters come out of nowhere, eat the brass, and continue to let us shoot. But if you want to bring it, by all means, bring it. All right, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is a cart, okay? If you have a pull-behind cart that you can you know, bring with you to carry all this stuff in, that is perfect. 
I don't, I don't have one. I may go invest in one. I probably should, but you're carrying a lot of stuff back and forth on the fire line and stuff like that. So it may be easier for you to get a cart, just put everything in this cart and pull it behind you. A lot of shooters do it. I don't. All right. Another thing I didn't mention it, but I do bring it with me is bring a backpack. So I have a backpack that I carry extra water in, snacks in, all my extra ammo. I bring, you know, whatever I may need is in that bag. So make sure you're bringing a bag to pack all this stuff in, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. I hope this video helps a new shooter out. Welcome to Camp Perry for your first time. I hope you enjoy it. Most importantly, when you come to Camp Perry, bring PMA. Bring a positive mental attitude. You need that PMA to get through Perry, but more importantly, have fun and learn, guys. This is a great time to shoot. This is a great place to shoot. You're going to meet a lot of people. There'll be hundreds of people there. It's a great match. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm about to go head to the range myself, get some practice in for Perry. So, if you like this video, hit a like. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Appreciate you guys for watching. Remember to focus on your front sight. Most importantly, focus on you and good things will too. See you guys next time.